What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today what I'm gonna do is give you some quick tips on some settings and some tools when shooting videos with the Panasonic GH5. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna make you do is change it to manual. Click on the menu button, go to the first menu, exposure mode, change it to M for manual, default is P program. Okay, next thing, we're gonna change the SS gain operation to SEC ISO. This is gonna let you see the actual shutter speed down here, see 50th, Be used to that. I'm not used to shutter angle. If you change it to shutter angle, you're gonna see that. Okay, so change it to sec ISO, which I like because it's like DSLR cameras. Okay, so the next thing is switching it to 4K. Now you, you got the Panasonic GH5 because we wanted 4K 10 bit, right? Well, let's go ahead and turn that on. If you go to the second menu here, press the menu, second menu, recording quality, Click on that. You should choose DCI 4K, or you can do uh, you can do Ultra HD, which is 3840 2160. But for us, we're gonna choose 10 bit uh, DCI 4K. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Next thing that I'm gonna do is switch the photo style to Vlog. Now I did purchase the Vlog because I think it's really worth it. But if you want something else, you can switch that here. For me, it's Vlog. Now, if you're doing a vlog and you want to see Rec. 709 in the screen, you have to turn on your view assist. So to do that, go back to the menus, go back to the first menu, go all the way down to vlog L view assist, turn that on, LUT select. This is the default, but you can set up to four LUTs in there. So go ahead and select the default one, LUT monitor display, turn that on, and I'll show you the difference with it on. You see it's Rec. 709, with it off, you're gonna see that it's gonna be just logged, log image. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. All right, sweet. Next important thing is changing the frequency. Now if you're not shooting 60 frames per second or 120 and you wanna shoot 24p, you have to switch the frequency setting. So go to menu, go to the fourth option, System frequency, change it to cinema 24 hertz. You got PAL and NTSC here as well. Now, like I said, if you want to shoot 60p or 120, then obviously you'll have to switch to that. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to change is constant preview. So we're going to go to the setting with a C with a wrench. We're going to go to monitor display. Click that. Scroll all the way up. Actually, all the way down. Constant preview is right there. If you turn it off, which is off right now, watch this. I'm gonna switch over to photo mode, M. I'm gonna change my shutter speed. Do you see it changing at all? The exposure, no, it's not changing. So we turn that on. Okay, there you go. Now you can actually see your exposure changing and that's very important because if you don't have this on, how are you gonna judge your exposure, you know? So let's leave that on. Let's go back to manual video. Okay, another thing that I change in the Panasonic GH5 is the monitor off EVF automatic, and I'll have to show you that right now because it's hard to explain, but if you go to the fourth menu, monitor display again, I mean the third menu, monitor display, you go to, let's see here, Actually, no, you go to the fourth menu, sorry. Go here. And you go to eye sensor. All right, go, go to this option here, LVF monitor switch. We're gonna turn it on. This is by default, okay, and see what it does. Look, so let's say you wanna play your footage. You're gonna press this button. Oh, it turns off because it automatically switches over. There's a sensor right here and it automatically switches over to the EVF. That's freaking annoying when you're trying to change settings and whatnot because it keeps turning off. So I turned that off like ASAP. So now if you do that, oh look, you can have your hand in front of it and it won't switch over to the EVF. Annoying feature, but I guess it's worth it for photographers. Okay, so let's go over some tools that I use. Number one, focus speaking, gotta love it. Press the menu button, let's go to uh, C with a wrench. Let's go to monitor display. Let's go all the way up, peaking on. 
and there you go, focus speaking, awesome. And you can actually bind that to the function buttons. I have it binded for F1, so you can turn it off and on. Freaking cool, comes with it. Okay, so for the waveform and histogram, which I already have the histogram up here. Oops. Oh, just out of focus. The histogram is over here. Now, just know that the histogram and the waveforms only show the log information. It doesn't show the LUT Rec 709 version. So, uh, if you want to turn on the histogram, you can turn it on in the same place. Wrench with a C, monitor display, histogram on and off. Okay, you can even have uh, zebra patterns too, but I'm pretty sure that it shows the log and not the LUT version of it. So for me, that kind of sucks. Now, if you want to turn the waveform, go to the first menu, go all the way down, and you can turn on vector or wave. So that exposure is log, not LUT. Maybe in future firmware updates, they can change that. Then that means that would be more useful to me because exposing, showing me the log doesn't really help me out. So I turn that off. But it's there just in case they change it later on. All right, so sorry that took forever, but that's just the settings and some of the tools I use with this camera. Uh, so far, it's doing pretty good. Uh, like always, thanks for watching and see you guys soon.